What is up guys, Adrian Nickelodeon coming at you from Sydney, Australia. Just need to head out to the shops real quick. Really quick video, want to talk to you guys about something pretty damn amazing that I found on the Yamaha MT Owners Australia Facebook group. Anyway, one of the blokes on there posted his blind spot mirrors and I thought they were amazing so I bought them. Here they are. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about these. Why I got them, the kinds of blind spot mirrors that I've used in the past and why I think they're top of the list other than like your helmet on uh, safety gear that you can have for your motorcycle. I've had blind spot mirrors on pretty much all of my bikes. I had blind spot mirrors on both of my R1s. I even had blind spot mirrors. I even tried to put blind spot mirrors on these mirrors here but they are a little bit too small. When I bought the MT-10, I actually went and bought these little blind spot mirrors right here. But the bar, the bar size didn't fit the bars because the MT-10 has like weird shaped bars. Anyway, these didn't work out. Man, I've been looking for so long for the perfect blind spot mirror that I've actually got an original rider scan from when they first released these. This thing I bought in the mid early 2000s so something like 15 years ago this thing is so old it's still got the patent pending logo on the top they've already they've obviously got a patent for it right now but um yeah this is the rider scan it's a really strange mirror i know it's not for everyone i tried to use it on both of my r1s i tried to mount it here on the mt10 didn't really work out i think that this thing is really made for like those big cruiser bikes that have those those massive windscreens on the front so you can just stick it up there and then it's amazing it really like, as you can see you can see everything around you this is a true motorcycle review mirror but even this didn't work out and this was from 15 years ago so this just goes to show how long I've been looking for the perfect blind spot mirror. Enter Anthony Bryan. I hope I got his name right. Posted on the Yamaha MT Owners Group Facebook page here in Australia. You know what? He got a lot of flack for his post. A lot of guys were laughing at him, telling him that the mirrors look shit. Why would you need those? Learn how to ride better. Check your blind spots. Blah, blah, blah. Just like a whole... He got absolutely shit on. And I said to him, I said, these are amazing, these are perfect, this is exactly what I want. Could you please post the link for me so I can buy these? And straight away, I jumped onto eBay and I bought them. Blind spot mirrors, I've got them on my cars, I've got them on all of my motorcycles. I've now finally got some sick ones on my Yamaha MT-10. I get it, blind spot mirrors aren't for everyone. If you're someone that just does weekend rides and you're just riding up the twisties, going as fast as you can, you're not going to need mirrors on your bike, let alone blind spot mirrors. I mean, Motonocity, Moto Vlog over in the US every single bike that he buys the first thing he does is he takes the mirrors off and it grinds my gears it's, it's such an irresponsible thing to do especially when you got such a, a huge following but that's what he that's what he enjoys doing I guess uh, when the cops pull you over for speeding you could always say oh I didn't even know you were behind me because I don't have any friggin mirrors on my bike <laughs> Anyway, if you're like me and you get over 500 kilometers per week of saddle time because you're commuting crazy long distances, you know that from time to time you get caught out. You go to merge and oh, oh damn, there's a car there, almost merged into them. Honestly, you get complacent when you're on the bike all the time and when you're in traffic and you're, you know, you're at relatively low speed. So really, this might sound a little bit irresponsible, but really, even when you're on a bike and you sideswipe someone at like, walking distance you're, you're not going to hurt yourself are you so really you do become a little bit complacent which is precisely why <laughs> i've been looking for these blind spot mirrors sydney traffic sucks it's always congested everywhere you go 24 7. the blind spot mirrors that i've had on my vehicles every single time i use them every time i do a, a lane change or every time i'm merging into traffic etc They've come in handy every single time. And I've finally found some that 
they're not too intrusive they're not too invasive these ones are super adjustable the old ones that i showed you they had like an aluminium clamp so they only really went around one single bar size these ones have a little rubber flap so you can adjust it they can go around the big part of my handlebar the small part of my handlebar i could put them up here around my mirror really i could put them anywhere and they were cheap as they were five australian dollars each so what is that in american us dollars it's like three bucks or something i'm not good at my conversion anyway cheap as oh one other thing when you're sitting at the lights and you feel like someone's looking at you now i can just look down at my little blind spot mirrors and i can see exactly what they're doing whether they're like it's weird like I, I feel like a lot of the time i'm sitting at the lights people put their window down and they quickly get their phone out and take a quick photo of the bike and like i don't know maybe i could spin around and just give them a thumbs up or something like that but yeah it's just cool to like spy on people in traffic as well anyway blind spot mirrors on the yamaha mt10 or really on any bike that you're going to attach these little rubber dangly bits to thanks again to anthony on the yamaha mt owners australia facebook page bro don't listen to the haters you did a great job plugging this product i totally bought into it and i'm glad i did works absolutely perfectly couldn't be happier if you guys want to know more about the mirrors i'll post a link down in the description below you can check out all the specs i think they're like one and a half inch could be two inch Ugh. i'm not sure anyway they're they're tiny so they stay out of the way anyway guys thanks for watching see you guys in the next video please remember that when you feel scared or freaked in Never forget the times when you feel the happy. When day is dark, always remember happy day.